Hang on, hang on. I forgot to set uh, this morning's Super Auto Pets episode. I made the thumbnail and everything, and then I just uh, like went to sleep. So I got a. It, it's called a broken watch is right twice a day. We grab this one right here, put it right here. A broken rod watch is right twice a day. Put it right there. Just, just copy paste. Control A, Control C, Control V. Control, well, no, 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 then you got to go upload thumbnails, super auto pets, yesterday was August 29th, or 28th, so I got an August 28th thumbnail, put it up there, so play, select your playlist, super auto pets, visibility, let's make that public, import end screen from August 27th chess video, place it there, monetization we're going to enable mid-roll ads we're going to put one here we're going to put one here 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 and i would say one here okay for every viewer that realizes ad block exists i have to compensate by adding one more mid-roll right now there's just one poor sucker out there who's still on Microsoft Edge browser. He's getting a mid-roll every 15 seconds. And he's, he's making the rest of the channel supplemented ad-free for everybody else. Thank you. Thank you for your sacrifice. Any comments on your Netflix tweet doing numbers? It's very funny to me. It, it, I bet it's going to pass the Thanos cold brew coffee uh, tweet. I think that had like 45,000 likes. This one has 32,000 already. <clears throat> Here's the tweet, by the way. Netflix, two days after a new show comes out. The show has already been watched for one trillion minutes, making it the most successful entertainment property in human history, which is why we're sharing the news with a heavy heart that it has not been renewed for a second season. Um, I have gained nothing out of having this tweet go super viral. It's, it's 32,000 likes as we speak. Um... What I have realized is there's a lot of people who use Twitter in the most insane way possible, which is replying to obvious jokes from people they don't follow with, like, an invitation to have an argument. And I'm like, you're stupid as hell. <laughs> you really think... I made... I, it was like 11.30 p.m. I made a joke tweet about Netflix, and then someone pops into the mentions. Oh, so you think Resident Evil should have uh, been extended? I didn't watch that shit. You think I'm as stupid as you? I'm not going to get baited into some kind of argument about Netflix's free cash flow with name bunch of numbers on Twitter on a Saturday. Like, I got shit to do. If you follow me, I might engage, because, you you know, we've, we've got a demonstrable rapport, but, you know... Lula Rose Seller from Wyoming? I don't think so. Why don't we just make both of our lives better and pretend we don't exist? I didn't have the heart to tell people. A lot of people replied to the tweet and said, um, if this happens to the Sandman, we'll riot. I don't, want to I don't really care if Netflix renews or cancels the Sandman, but I hope for their sake that they renew it. It seems like there's a lot of people who replied to that tweet with with Sandman avatars that seem to think that I was mad that they're going to can cancel Sandman potentially. That's not the case. I, um, I don't really, I mean, I, you know, what do you want me to say? I didn't like the little bit of the show that I watched, but I like when there's more joy in the world. So if a lot of people like the show, then sure, I'm not going to be the villain that's like, I hope they can it. That's ridiculous. If they could just um, renew a second season and make it good instead, that would be ideal, I think. I, don't, I just think every bad show, they should just renew it and then fix all its problems and keep it going indefinitely. How was Peloton this morning? We're going down the whole, the whole list, huh? 30-minute um, Dennis Morton rush ride, done it many times before. 357. Output, 30 minutes, pretty good. Can't complain. There's also actually today was a milestone. Today was my 250th uh, total Peloton cycling ride. Pretty cool, right? Two, like, I, I made a tweet for 100. I think I made a tweet for 200. 250 I didn't make a tweet for. But honestly, getting from 200 to 250 was harder than getting from 100 to 200. Because 200 to 250 included the food poisoning. 
last time I cycled, like semi uh, consistently, was in I think 2018. I was cycling. I don't know, probably like 10 hours a week or something like that outside at a more leisurely pace. It w things were going very well. I went home for a week, like to my parents' house for a vacation. Got the flu, came back, got over the flu. A week later, went for a uh, a ride and my lungs didn't work. And I said, you know what? I'll just wait another week until my lungs come back. And then it was like three years until I rode the bike again. So to come back from the the infection and actually get back on the horse, that was good. That, that's, uh, that's consistency. You back to the same level before your near-death experience? I haven't PB'd since late May. So like mid... That normally, I would say... I. I was on the schedule of PBing about once a month. I PB'd late May. Mid-June, I got the food poisoning. That lasted until mid-July. Then we went on a cruise. Then when I came back, I was like 20% below my previous output. And I've been, I've been close. I've been closing in on that PB. PB 384. I had a 381 like two weeks ago. You think you'll hit 1,000? I don't know. That's 750 rides away. I just hope the company still exists, man. Or that they sell to another company. What's going to happen if, uh, if, if Apple buys Peloton? I don't have a damn... The thing runs on a fucking Android, for one. What are they going to do? Break into my house and then put it on iOS? And then... I, like, I don't get it. I don't, I'm not plugged into the Apple ecosystem. So I don't, I don't think Apple's going to buy, you know... Seven, a company that has seven million Android devices out there. That I mean, that doesn't make sense to me. Amazon, maybe, sure. I mean, I, on, do people were like, yeah, and you'll like it. What the? What's the problem? You think I'd rather have Peloton run in the Peloton company right now? Have you seen the decisions they've made? Plus the stock price, I would much rather have Tim Cook calling the damn shots. It's one of the most well-run companies in history. Anyway, we don't need to get into the into the stock pricing. How are they losing money? That's what I'm saying. It's a $2,000 exercise bike with a little Amazon Fire tablet on top of it. All they're doing is serving classes. That would be like if a YouTuber was like, I got to shut down my channel. I'm losing money. I'm like, what do you mean you're losing money? Everything's free. I guess I just, I, I don't understand business. That's it. I, just, I simply don't understand business. They pay their instructors like half a mil. I know, but like... I'm not saying they should in from like a merit sense, but like the instructors are was keeping people on the platform. Then they, they announced that they lost like three hundred million dollars last quarter. There's only like forty instructors. They could be paying them like uh, ten million dollars each, and it wouldn't even make sense. Yeah, let me see your accounts payable. I'm, I don't want to read that. It's probably a bunch of ledgers. I don't want to read that. I don't get how Google makes money. Well, I pay three dollars a month for extra storage on Gmail. So I think if there's, how much money do they make? Probably like just eight or nine uh, billion people like me paying three bucks a month for, for Gmail extra storage. I've never listened to their quarterly uh, reports, their, their conference calls, but I have to imagine that, uh, that it's probably three dollar uh, Google Drive storage expansion subscriptions. Your name comes up a lot. Well, they must have had like a sick Q4 2021 because that's when Super Auto Pets was really hidden. They were like, holy shit, YouTube revenue's up like 75% across the board because of this emoji casino. Is Chibli Rumbleverse pilled yet? Don't get me started on this guy, okay? I had to leave the stream to, to help put my baby to sleep last night. This guy was like, oh, I hate Rumbleverse. Oh, it sucks. I don't know what I'm doing. And then I come into chat very nicely, very positively and, and give him some tips. Hey, Maybe stop using uh, the rocket special move instead of just jumping. He'd like just use 50% of his stamina spamming the rocket just to get a, like to do something that he could have just vaulted over. And then as soon as I said that, he said, no, I'm going to do it more now. And then I said, please, for the love of God, just take the, the green mist. You can combo it into anything. I'm never using this mist. And, and then, Skyrocket. like, it was actually like a press any key and he pressed the power button. He, 
landed a green mist. The dude was going, ah, my eyes, my eyes. And then he just mashed the green mist button and was like, what? It doesn't combo into itself. And then he found a book that was another rocket and he replaced the mist with the rocket. So he had two rockets in his inventory. And then he's like, why is this game so hard? Well, maybe because you're like trolling. I love that Chib lives in New Zealand. So I have like four hours of time to talk shit. And he, he's never going to hear it. Like what? It's probably like 4.30 a.m. New Zealand time right now. Chib, any response? <laughs> Feels good. Feels good. Feels good. Feels good. Um, my wife is uh, a musician. She's an oboist. She holds a bachelor's of uh, performance music in the oboe, or bachelor's of music in the performance of oboe, I should say. So this should be easy. Classical music clips instruments. Very easy. Also, I don't want to brag, but I won the grade 11 music award for having the highest grade in grade 11 music class in my high school, okay? I beat out 21 other students. I believe I, I scored a 96. I'm not trying to brag. It was the, my music teacher said it was the highest mark he's ever seen. Okay, that part I made up and then bragging. But anyway, okay. That's an oboe. And I actually know this song. Kate played this for one of her uh, recitals in university. It's Rimsy Korsakov, Scheherazade. That's a great, that's a great piece. Now, don't worry, it picks up from here. That's a voice. <laughs> Lady, I don't, I told you, lady, I don't understand what the hell you're saying. That's an organ. This is a Rebuk Sonata on the 94th Psalm in C minor. They play this shit at, at mass. The whole place goes off, dude. It looks like the Kingsman in there. It's a Dracula music. That's clarinet. That's core anglais. Oh! Same shit. Winnie the Pooh normal face. Clarinet. Winnie the Pooh wearing a suit. Core anglais. That's a damn harpsichord. Is Wes Anderson here? Wait, Jason Schwartzman slowly walks into the frame. He's dressed in a 1,400-piece suit, walking into a tall building that's staged exactly in the center of the frame. The camera scrolls up slowly until we get to the top floor and look in through the window. It appears to be a diorama with Bill Murray sitting behind the desk. Kiss me. That's by Sixpence None the Richer. You can't enter a grocery store even in the modern day without hearing this song. We'll take the trail marked on your father's map. Oh, that's it's either you or you. I don't think I think this is um, the cranberries. She just looks like she goes. And never quite what it seems. And you look like you say kiss me, but I'm going to wait for a second, okay? Enter Sandman. That would be Metallica, which is <laughs> so fucking funny. <laughs> what are they doing, man? It must be so hard to be in a band like this. You can't just like take, get your photo taken being a guy. You always got to be like, yeah! Is, have you seen the photo of James Hetfield walking out of the... Um, like a Rodeo Drive boutique fashion store with a shopping bag. That one always gets me. End of the road, kiss me. You're sixpence none the richer. You're House of Pain. And you are boys to men? Yep, okay. I don't really, I'm not from Philadelphia. I don't know that much about, uh, about boys to men. I could, I could only name one song by them. It's called End of the Road. I learned about its existence seconds ago. Okay. Viva La Vida. That's Coldplay. Every single one of these bands is Coldplay. You're Coldplay, but you're Coldplay too. You're also Coldplay. No, okay, no, maybe you guys are Coldplay too, but there's only three Coldplays here. Anyway, it's Coldplay. Feel Good Inc. is by Gorillaz. Hey, yeah. Well, it's, so it's not really Outkast because it's from The Love Below, which is the, the Andre 3000 half of the double album that they put out. So I, I really would prefer to see a photo of just Andre 3000 here in order to click on, but this is Outkast, including the criminally uh, 
perpetually underrated big boy. But anyway, sure. Okay. I mean, now I, I, now I take issue with the quiz. Now I take issue with the quiz. The whole quiz is slightly undermined, in my personal opinion. But whatever. Chasing Cars is by Snow Patrol. <laughs> Who is... They, they, if, which band here sings? If I could just lay here. If I could just... It's gotta be you. You look like you make boring music. I'm sorry. You look like you make Grey's Anatomy music. Crazy is by Gnarls Barkley. Photograph is by Nickelback. Breathless is by The Coors. Not Ready to Make Nice is by The Chicks. Who Let the Dogs Out? It's the Baja Men. The Baja Men was three guys. In the End, Linkin Park. And Girlfriend by... B2K. Can I tell you something insane? I, my brain went B2K, but then I said, don't say B2K, because isn't that the name of that serial killer? I don't want this to be clipped. And then when I clicked on it and it said B2K, I was like, holy cow. How does that information exist in my brain? That's 100%. Oh, here we go. Pick a 2010s music artist by hit. Well, this is fucked up. I didn't know that... Simon Cowell released music. I thought he was just a judge. He Simon Cowell came out with a song. Okay, I I did listen to the music or listen to the radio for a little bit in 2010 or in the in the 2010s because we we bought a car. But what is wrong with Ed Sheeran? Like why is why is he giving me that look, man? I'm scared. Despacito is daddy daddy something. What's your name? It's got to be you. Luis Fonzi. <laughs> Daddy Yankee. That's it. Okay. I don't know who this... I Like, this feels like a shot from 90 Day Fiance. Tones and I? It's the worst song of all time. Please listen to it. It's You'll recognize it and... Okay. Oh, I'm not going to listen to it on stream. Maybe I'll listen to it tonight. Maybe it'll come on during my Peloton ride. This seems like something Matt Wilpers would play. I have no idea. This looks like a like a Mad TV promo image. I have no idea, but I'm going to guess that your music is pure ass. And that's very judgmental. I'd like to apologize. I think this is Maroon 5 again. That's One Direction. One Direction after Zayn left. This is LMFAO. I don't know who you are. I don't know. That's Coldplay. You're right. That's Coldplay. Oh, I miss Coldplay. Why are they posed like Mount Rushmore? I will wait. Oh, this is bad. Okay, We Are Young was a song by a band called Fun. Who's the most fun-looking band? Well, hold on. This is from the iHeartRadio Music Awards. I know you were nominated for many awards in, like, 2012. I'm going to say it's you. No, that's... Oh, you know what? They do look fun. They look... that. It looks like they're telling a secret they don't want the audience to know. Okay, Party Rock Anthem. That's the free space. Stressed Out is by... Either 21 Pilots or the Chainsmokers. I get them confused because I don't know any of their shit. It, it's by a band called One Republic. I bet it's you. I, I'm just going to be honest. I bet it. I, I just, you, you look like you make shit music. Okay, I was, look, again, is very judgmental. I'd like to apologize, but at the same time, it's kind of the same thing. Radio, oh, you're Imagine Dragons! Moves like Jagger. Coldplay made... What's is this the Coldplay song that goes oh whoa 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 oh yeah no, no. that seems like Lonely Boy all right that's the Black Keys the Black the Black Keys made Lonely Boy what would you make what would Fifth Harmony make they would make a song called yeah yeah um, work from home whoa get soul red okay. Because it seems like they make music that's emotionally inconsequential. <laughs> Sorry. It just seems like that, that it's kind of like a song like, um, like Shaggy's It Wasn't Me. It's like it's not a song about real human emotions. It's like a song that's like it's half funny and a little like Thrift Shop. Just a catchy song. It's breezy to listen to. That was Mumford and Sons. I'm just going to keep my comments to myself. Okay. Need you now. The Time, Dirty Bit, Black Eyed Peas. Okay, Stressed Out and Closer. You look like Nine Inch Nails. All right, never mind. Oh, 21 Pilots and the Chainsmokers. No wonder I get them confused. 
This looks like pre-divorce, after divorce. Those are the you can't tell me that's not the same band. Maybe everybody feels this way, but like ab about like the gen the decade of music that came right after the decade of your formative years. But I'm like, man, I feel like the 2010s were like they were an outlier of ass as far as popular music goes. I'm not saying in general popular music tends to be the best, but uh, tw the 2010s seem to be kind of historically ass. The 2000s were ass too. I've long said that as well. I mean, like the, whenever people hit me with like the, well, not me, but the comments of Simple Plan music videos, it's always like, man, what would it have been like to have been born in the late 80s and be 16 when Simple Plan's first album came out? I was like, it was fucking mostly just wishing you were born in 1978 and being 16 when Nevermind came out or something like that, which I'm sure in 1994, you were probably like, oh, what was it like to be born in 1968 and, you know, be 16 when fucking Remain in Light came out. And then in 1982, you were like, oh, what would it have been like to be born in the 50s and be 16 when the Beatles were peaking or something like that. And then in the 1750s, you're like, oh, imagine I was born 50 years earlier and got to see like a Bach concerto on his opening night performance. And then you're like, oh, imagine it's the year zero and I get to see a Gregorian chant. Anyway, you get the, you get the idea. Which of these players had their jersey number retired across the whole NHL? That's Wayne Gretzky. Come on. Did you, I don't know if you read r slash hockey. By the way, let me see. What are we at? Six minutes. We got plenty of time. Insane Wayne Gretzky stat. Um, Wayne Gretzky. And I, it, there's a ton of insane ones. M one of the most insane. Wayne Gretzky has more five-point games than zero-point games in his career. That's, that's an unbelievable stat to think about. He had more games where he scored five points or more than games where he didn't score at all. He was pretty good at hockey. I mean, there's like a thousand Wayne Gretzky facts that sound insane. Wayne Gretzky has more assists than anybody else has points. Wayne Gretzky was like the first three. The, the, he has the fastest three times to get to a thousand points or something like that. It's like Gretzky, 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 Lemieux. Wayne Gretzky and his brother are the highest scoring brothers in NHL history. His brother has four total points. Wayne Gretzky had a, he had like a 51 or 53 game point streak. On his 53 game point streak, he scored 153 points. Like it's just, on average, he scored three points a game for 50 games in a row. That shit is like insanity. Which of these logo logos represents the school with the most combined men's and women's basketball titles? Okay, here's the thing. I bet this is a, a, a fun fact. I feel like UConn wins the women's titles a lot. So I'm going to go. Yeah! I thought when they included men and women, I thought that the UConn moves up the power rankings a little bit. Who hosts the Late Show? This question is impossible. I believe that the Late Show is hosted by Stephen Colbert. But they're all called Late Show, Tonight Show, Not So Late Show, The, the Late Late Show. Late night tonight with like, it, that's a tough question. Who's not one of the original X-Men? Cyclops was not an original X-Men because lasers hadn't been invented yet. Uh, Wolverine, I didn't know that. In which you, musical is my shot? Okay, don't bat chest. Jay is here, we're not gonna bat chest. Who has not led a South American country? This is the Pope, okay. But like, um, why does, I, I don't know if you're like me, every image of, Somebody doing this, all I can see in my head is the gif of the soldier saluting at the football game while also looking like he's jerking off. Like the, this, not so much because he's smiling. But this guy, this might, I'm, this might be a state funeral for all I know. So I apologize. But in my head, below the waist, like just below the frame, he's jerking it. Anyway, it's, it's the Pope. Which of these celebrities has a name that is particularly suited to them? That would be Usain Bolt. Although I do think that Oprah is quite Oprah-esque. Every time I see her, I'm like, you know, she just looks like she has the essence of Oprah. This guy, pretty clean, honestly. Not foliage. Human being. Anthropomorphic. Okay. Will Ferrell, Vince Vaughn, Owen Wilson, and Ben Stiller? Vince Vaughn, yes. Owen Wilson, no. That's a Luke Wilson joint. Vince Vaughn? No. Owen Wilson, Ben Stiller, yes. 
Ben Stiller, yes. Vince Vaughn, yes. Will Ferrell, Owen Wilson, no. Yes, yes. Vince Vaughn, wait. Will Ferrell... <laughs> Will Ferrell is Mugatu. Owen Wilson is uh, Hansel, so hot right now. Ben Stiller is Derek Zoolander, a model idiot. Vince Vaughn, he must be in. Maybe he says so hot right now at some point. Because Ben Stiller's not in this. Vince Vaughn and Will Ferrell are not in this. Will Ferrell and Owen Wilson are not. It's got to be Zoolander. It's Zoolander. Oh, he's, he plays Derek's brother, the, the coal miner. Find the. Here you go. Here's one that'll alienate people. Find the provinces of Canada with no outlines, okay? This one's for my, my Canadian viewers, myself included. It should be easier than the American one, but the Maritimes are a little scuffed. And also, they're hard to place on the map. <clears throat> Alberta. So BC is like... Then Alberta is like... Let me try that one again. Prince Edward Island. You're Newfoundland, okay? And then it's like, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, PEI? <laughs> hey, re replay, replay. I'm going to replay this one real quick. <clears throat> Nova Scotia, nailed it. Nunavut, come on. Yukon. <clears throat> replay me. I always get those two. Give me an easy one, man. British Columbia. Thank you. The Yukon. Come on. Prince Edward Island. This, this little one right here. Nova Scotia. New Brunswick. Northwest Territories. Nunavut. See, now we got a chain. We can follow the chain. Saskatchewan. Newfoundland and Labrador. Quebec. Manitoba. Uh, that's the easiest quiz of all time, man. This quiz is so easy. I don't know what this is, but based on the look of it, I'm going to say that this is Pretty Little Liars. I'm insane. Hey, yo, yeah. Yo, uh, can I get a Jay-Z pizza? <laughs> can I get like a cheese pizza, but you spread the cheese in such a way that after it cooks, it looks like a perfect facsimile of Jay-Z's face? Old school recipe cards. How about that? Oh, shit, this is perfect. Oh, dude, this is actually perfect. It's America's version of the British food quiz. The Crown Roast of Frankfurters. Sounds like a Dark Souls boss. I believe this would be a Crown Roast of Frankfurters. Deep fried frog's legs with tartar sauce. That would be you. Did they have to serve it still attached to the frog's ass? They don't. I've had frog's legs before. What the hell is this? They, they put that ass on there just to show off. Sardine-filled pastry roll. Tuna and pear pizza? This is what they took from us. We used to be a country. A proper country. Tuna and pear pizza? Nothing here looks like pizza, for the record. Unless I'm just... me. No, that's like beef tartare. Tuna and pear pizza? I'm passing for a second. Tuna cheese macaroni loaf. I see a loaf. There must be another loaf. Tuna cheese macaroni loaf. We got to go a little faster. Turkey loaf in aspic. Aspic is like a tomato something. You kind of look like maybe there's maybe that's turkey. Pressed bris pressed brisket. Pressed brisket of beef. Pressed brisket. I think we can still do this. Fluffy mackerel pudding. Waikiki meatballs, right here. Pimento puree, maybe? And that looks like a puree to me. Crusty salmon shortcakes. Crusty salmon short. I gotta be honest, that sounds pretty good. Crusty salmon shortcakes. I don't see them here, I'm gonna have to pass. Jellied lamb salad. Oh, you look jellied. Oh. Gazpacho salad mold. Deviled salmon? You could see that being salmon, right? Deviled. Like a deviled egg? Nope. Where is that? Uh, oh, it's with the eggs. Velvet cheese soup. 
This should be easy. Velvet cheese soup. Steak tartare. Lime and melon salad mold. You look like lime. You don't really look like a mold, though. Lime and melon salad mold. Lime? No, there's fucking radishes on this. Come on. It's got to be you. Oh, it was that. Okay, that's easy enough. Milk, ch milk chicken? Milk chicken? This is chicken, chicken and banana? Chicken and banana milk chicken? Frozen fruit salad. Piquant herring salad. Piquant. It's a little piquant. Frozen cheese salad. Liver pate en masque. <laughs> nope, that would be this. Prawn and grape cocktail. Oh my god, what the hell is this? It's like shrimp, grapes. It's like a like a horrible ceviche. Gooseberry flan. It's you. Oh! The Florentine ring. Doesn't that seem like... I, it's gotta be you. But the Florentine ring sounds like an Italian torture device from the Renaissance era. You've been found guilty of being a witch. Now you must bear the Florentine ring. Oh, it's actually this one. Never mind. Are you tuna and pear pizza? Where's the tuna? Where's the pear? That is actually anchovies and like the cap of a truffle or something like that. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's on the inside. I shouldn't have asked. Tuna cheese macaroni loaf. Okay. Turkey loaf in aspic. Oh, sorry. That's that. Pressed brisket of beef. What is this? I... I I sort I don't understand. Pressed biscuit. Pressed brisket. Pressed brisket? What is what is this? Fluffy mackerel pudding. The remaining pictures look AI generated. Like, are you mackerel pudding? No. Where where's fluffy? Oh, that's of course, mackerel pudding. Why does it have bubble tea next to it? Predating the uh existence of bubble tea in America. Crusty salmon shortcakes? Piquant herring salad. I don't even know what this is. This actually looks like uh, like you broke a glass bottle of salad dressing into a bowl. Frozen cheese salad. We got 71 out of an average score of 53. By the way, there's more. Old school recipe cards too. Emerald cantaloupe. <laughs> what the fuck is this, dude? Can you imagine... This is the 1950s. You spend uh, all day making this shit while your husband pretends to work, but actually he's just smoking cigarettes at the office all day. You come home and serve him this weird fish. Anyway, I'm assuming this is emerald cantaloupe. Sardine egg canapes. These look like canapes to me. Tomato jelly ribbon loaf. It's got to be this, right? Short ribs with noodles. Yes, I'll have one of those, please. I'll take the short ribs with noodles, please, for the love of God. I'll take the short ribs with the noodles. Uh, no, you no, that's okay. You can keep the tomato jelly ribbon loaf. I don't want it. Let me just get the short ribs with noodles. Why can't I find them? You kind of look like short ribs. Those don't really look like... Oh, you know what? That's pasta noodles. Okay. Chicken and pea souffle. Bro. It, oh, it it's actually is this. But what the hell is that? Seafood mousse. Um, I mean, I thought you were a dessert, but I suppose you could be seafood. I'm sure seafood kind of looks like that when it's moosed. No. Oh, whoa, it's a fish. Tropical hamburger. You want to come over for dinner? Mom's making tropical hamburgers. This kind of, I don't know. Tropical hamburger? I got a pass, man. I got a pass. <laughs> sour braten meatballs. Okay. Some relatively normal food. This could be sour braten for all I know. Rhubarb whip. Rhubarb whip is this. That's probably good. Beef tongue and raisin sauce. You're going to laugh. As this sounds horrendous. <laughs> in a number of different ways. Beef tongue is pretty tasty, though. I like beef tongue. I'd rather have beef tongue over a chocolate or a cottage cheese ring with vegetable salad medley. I would say my rule is we're going to start by looking for the cottage cheese ring. And then around it, there should be a vegetable salad medley. Creamed eggs on fried noodles. Brown rice and fruit ring. But why? I mean, it's got to be this, but like... 
you got brown rice why why make it into like a weird circle with strawberries inside of it it's just weird banana sea foam by the way, anytime someone that's like 90 years old tells you how hard it was when they were a young adult, oh, the kids these days are going to Starbucks instead of, you had like seven hours a day to cook this shit, to take perfectly good ingredients and turn it into some kind of, um, what's the name of that guy who paints all the famous American paintings, you know, uh, uh, Norman Rockwell? You had time to take all this fresh food and turn it into a Norman Rockwell nightmare. Banana sea foam. I couldn't even possibly begin to tell you what that means. I don't even know what I'm looking for. Chopped chicken liver pate. Okay, I, I roughly understand what pate is. Could this be chopped chicken liver pate? Nope. It's the one that looks like a Thanksgiving cake you'd buy from the grocery store. Cabbage rolls in golden sauce. I believe it's you. Frankfurters and corn casserole. Delicious. Always with the aspic, man. Lamb aspic? I'm passing for a second. Fish sticks with pineapple? Are you fish sticks with pineapple? Yes. Scalloped potatoes and tongue casserole. Okay. I believe that's you. Ham a la king. It's you. A la means it's French for we put sauce on it. Ooh, beef liver in sour cream. Mm, that sounds good. Beef liver in sour cream. I'm going to pass for a second. Which one of these fuckers is a tropical hamburger? If it's you, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to die. Tropical. I've only got a minute left. Tropical hamburger? Cherry is not a tropical fruit. Let's X that. I don't buy it. I, you must be tropical hamburger. What? What is this? Pineapple cucumber salad. I see none of those ingredients in the remaining four pictures. I. It doesn't make any sense to me. Banana sea foam. Okay, now I get it. Lamb aspic. Beef liver and sour cream. We got 84. I don't know how I figured this out. <laughs> Tropical hamburger is kind of pissing me off. Like, what is this? There were ever times that you were served food in like... Because people in the 50s, they're kind of like... I mean, they're us. You know, just different culture. But like the same scaffolding. Surely there had to be like some normies who sat down and they were like, oh, for dinner tonight, we're having tropical hamburger. And then a... Uh, uh, Half of a baguette with some cherries on top of it comes out. And you got, like, was there, like, an underground society of people who would get together and talk shit about 50s food in the 50s? Were they like, what the fuck are they making? Tropical hamburger. Tropical hamburger? It appears to be neither tropical nor a hamburger. Nor <laughs> edible in any sense of the word. It's the pi That's pineapple? It doesn't look like pineapple to me. It looks like an unripened mango. I guess that could be pineapple, or that could be tropical too. A little mango. And the cherry with the stem still on is just like disrespectful. The thought of an adult man coming home from working in like the U.S. defense industry and making this for himself while he watches some fucking horrible TV show with a laugh track and just doing that for like 30 years every day until he dies makes me want to crawl in a hole and die myself, quite frankly. <laughs> a Polynesian-style dinner. Sweet and sour chicken and pork, vegetable chow mein, roasted rice and sauce, and an orange tea cake. Mmm, Polynesian style. Oh, a little exotic tonight, Master Wayne. Alfred, I'm feeling exotic. Can you get me the Polynesian-style banquet TV dinner from Swanson's? Very good, sir. That's Eeyore. <laughs> oh, my God. What is this tall E.T.? Oh, he's not tall. <laughs> oh. oh. 
how to protect your cookies from being stolen by your child. As E.T., the extraterrestrial. This Tinkerbell. Let's get off that one real quick. It's Catherine Hepburn. I don't know who you are. Let's just be honest. But I do know in the 50s, before Playboy magazine existed, dudes were definitely beaten off to this cookie jar. For sure. The Fonz, people were definitely beaten off to this one too. That would be Lucy from Peanuts. Is Alf is also hilarious. Is it true that Alf officiated Donald Trump's second wedding, by the way? Can I get... <laughs> wait, did I get uh, fake news? Maybe he didn't officiate. Was he at the... He, he attended the, the ceremony, though? But he dips before the reception? Okay, Alf? That's Princess Leia? It's actually, like, horrifying. That's a self-portrait. Uh, that's Humpty Dumpty. Have you played solo played up? Stop trying to incept me into um, doing like a 13-hour solo stream. Where all you hear is ding, 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 Eight. Sexy lady. And then 17 hours of deliberation on where I'm going to put like one box full of onions. Cold brew is a fad. If I'm being honest with you, I feel like if any of them are a fad, if any coffee varietal is a fad, it's actually hot coffee. You're And, and I hate to tell you this, I'm sure it's going to hurt to hear. Evolution is about competing and being outcompeted. People that drink cold brew are going to outcompete you. I'm sorry, they're going to leave more descendants. You know why? On a long enough time scale, little decisions can have huge impacts. Your decision to have to wait 10 minutes to start drinking your coffee because it's like boiling when it comes out of the damn percolator, that's 10 minutes of time you could have spent trying to further your lineage. Cold brew drinkers stay winning. They pour it from the fridge into a cup and they go, Hroom! they take it all down and then they're out there so when they're wild oats, okay? I look forward to 150,000 years from now when there's just cold brew drinkers all around because everybody on this antiquated, oh, I've got to heat my coffee up first. Oh, now I've got to wait for it to get to the temperature that it was when I heated it up in the first place. And you don't stand a chance. You're too busy, oh, constantly adjusting the temperature of your coffee. It's so sad, honestly. It's just a waste of your damn time. Sitting and slurping coffee right now, just crying. I don't know what you want me to say. You want me to say sorry? I'm not gonna say sorry. What did the ostrich just say? Are you trying to get a sound clip of me going Because if so, congratulations. It worked. Please acknowledge the copy pasta so they stop. First day, first day on Twitch TV. This isn't even fresh pasta. This is like the dried pasta from the dollar store. Like it was the same pasta on Friday that they spam for like, you know, two hours. And then I just have to remind myself, like why are people spamming uh, copy pasta at 11.30 a.m. on a Monday? And I'm like, oh, in like Sweden, it's 7.30. So they're probably having a, a couple of uh, Viking beers or something like that. They're having a little bit of honey mead. And they said, I just want to feel like I'm part of something. So they uh, go highlight it all. Control C, control V, control C, control V. It's a coping mechanism. It's a way to feel like you're part of something. Old man, sell the chinchillas, please. It's just a two gold unit. Okay, old man, following since July 18th, 2022. What you're telling me here is that if I, if I permanently banned you, I would be losing a follower for approximately 41 days. Let's take a look at the, all the messages. Old man, sell the chinchilla, juice me. Old, bald, and mad, juice me. Hey, baldy. Do you shoe shine your head? Hey, Baldy, looking really good today. Do you shoe shine your head? So bad, rolled. You suck, streamer. Hey, looking good, streamer. Do you shoe shine your head? You look good for 40. What's up, Baldy? Did you? These are all from different days, by the way. Did you shoe shine your head? Looking good today. Did you shoe shine your head, Baldy? Stunlock Stan, Stanley, Giga Chad Arnold, Stunlock Steven. I know this is their comment. I don't want this to be taken out of context. I know no one asked, but I jerked it to hentai for the first time today, and it sure was something. Pygmy. Head's looking a little extra shiny today. 
Northern Lion, more like Southern Tiger. Got him. Minus two. What do you think, chat? What's your, what's your verdict on this? Save, save or ban? Probably 13 years old yet. Give him a chance. Such user... Just <laughs> snap the seed. Any other messages? There's been no other messages since the last... It, your whole trial, you didn't say anything? You didn't say lull? You didn't say sorry? Like, I usually expect people to either, like, double down or be like, I apologize. Like, I'm drunk. I'm just... They're not... They left. They're not even in chat anymore. That's so sad. Bro, you're anonymous. What are you scared of? <laughs> that's so... That's so pathetic. Where did you go? Oh, wait. One more message. The last message just says Baldy. You know what? I kind of respect it. That being said, we don't... Uh, in this channel, we don't attack people for their physical appearance unless we're saying, looking good king, those Peloton rides must be doing something. I'm sorry to inform you that you have received a ban. It's, it's, it looks permanent. But it's actually, here's the thing, in 10 minutes, you can submit a unban request where you can plead your case. If you still want to chat, if you still want to type, did you shoe shine your head? You want that privilege to return? Just submit a, a unban request demonstrating a desire to change your ways. And I'm, I'm merciful. Rarely do I deny an odd ban request that shows genuine contrition. This is why God, God made you bald. Okay. Let's take a look at this one. Following since December 13th, 2020. One time out by Nightbot. Okay. <clears throat> you have 999 plus messages in the chat here. So the, the last person only had 32. So this one makes me feel like you would feel like there's some time sincerely wasted if you were to lose your chatting privileges. Let's see what kind of let's see what kind of gold we got in the in the mines today. This is why God made you bald, blind. This is the, this starts the all caps era. Blind, red bird hurt trigger bird, bird. How did you not notice that you're bald, little baldy ass? You're bald. You're toxic. He has nothing to apologize for. Save him. He's based. Save. Stop complimenting the streamer. He needs to learn. This shouldn't get to 10. Okay, that we got to 10 in the last round. It's a disgrace if this gets to 10. Pog, pog, city, bitch. Draw machine, draw purgatory. Pog, pog, poggers. Pog, pog, pog. Sex positions. Are you Dean Norris? Starfish, pog, starfish, poggers. Pog, a win. Pog, double monkey, poggers. Double monkey, pog, turtle, turtle blind the hell you i don't this is like i'm just you put like 400 messages in chat today this is crazy from the very start of this i mean you were here at 8 59 your first message in chat today was i hope he starts an only fans i can't ban you it would be like it's like how when someone's addicted to like drugs they can't quit cold turkey because it would have like actual harmful physical effects i mean i i can't ban you because i'm worried the impact it would have on you as a human being Understandable. I mean, I, I have like a, a medical compunction to, to treat you, you know, like I'm, I'm, I've taken the Hippoc Hippocratic Oath of streamers, the Hippocratic Oath. I can do no harm. I can't ban them. Banning them would be I, I will shoulder the burden of them being toxic. I can handle that. And we just hope to give them the scaffolding to rebuild their life and, and to get their shit together. And like, because this could be the thing that I mean, it could push him to something rash. I'm not willing to do that, okay? So you, you have a safe outlet here, okay? We're going to make sure that no, no harm comes to you while you're in the chat environment, even though you're saying some fucked up shit that would probably get you punished elsewhere. And we got a lot of pamphlets over there if you're looking for other streamers to watch. <laughs> or other things to do with your time. Or even just moving this over to the second monitor so that on the first monitor you could, like, I don't know, be typing into a spreadsheet or something. Just anything. Anything, really. Anyway, you're not wrong, though. Check it out. As a result of all that, all of a sudden, quarter-life crisis versus mid-life crisis, what is more based? I will tell you, I mean, as a man who's not quite middle-aged, people always tell me, like, oh, watch out, like, the mid-age crisis is going to come. You're going to try to buy, like, a... a Candy Apple Red, Mazda Miata, get really into fantasy sports or something like that. I feel like the the American style 
middle-aged uh, midlife crisis is something that's gonna age really badly. I guess pun intended. Let's take pun intended on that one. Like, doesn't in in current conditions, doesn't that sound like the most entitled shit ever? Oh, I have like a great family and a stable job that probably even has a pension, but I'm just like, I'm not content. Okay, like get over it. A quarter life crisis makes sense to me. You're young, but it's a it's a time to have a crisis. You're making a large decision. What am I gonna do with the rest of my life? You know, that's a big question. It, you know, it's it's emotional. I'm sure like every quarter life crisis di is different. Or sorry, every uh, midlife crisis is different. You know, you might be in a situation, maybe you had a midlife crisis cause like, you know, your, your best friend had a health scare or something like that. That's a little different than just like, oh, I'm getting a little older, but still, it just sounds kind of like, sounds a little entitled. That was a sick move. He's going to wake up an unblockable. Because that's just what you do here. He's better than me. Yep. I'm in a lot of trouble. You're not reading that shit on my watch. Look at this. The instant dodge. Bro, you got you to gotta fuck with the other person. How did you dodge after you fizzled? This this person's too good. I can't I can't fight this person right now. Don't chase me. But I gotta I gotta do something. Do I wanna do I wanna fuck with that? Nope. Saved. Ruby Crusher unblockable. Wake up. Ooh. Do it again. Spam it. Oh no no! Really? Okay, I'll take that. Okay, we gotta fight. We gotta move, we gotta fight. Obviously you're gonna- Obviously you purchased the skin. Wake up punchline. Holy shit, send him out of the damn building. Wake up punchline. <laughs> okay, that was- That was satisfying. That felt better. Any any backseat on that, by the way? Anyone got any advice for that one? Shouldn't have popped it. He's coming in on me. Maybe he's not coming in on me. I get to live another day. Wake up, punchline. Do you know what you're doing? Maybe you don't know what you're doing. Maybe wake up, punchline's the way. <laughs> okay, okay. Great tackle, honestly. What? I, I kicked you in the in the nuts. No! Oh, she wasn't in super mode. I got saved. Help. Help me. I did. It was a Peggy Hill situation. You're absolutely right. Okay. Great range. I'm, I'm running, which means she thinks I'm going to get killed by dropkick spam. Not today. We're clashing. Please. That's more like it. Man, you almost had me. I was almost scared for a second there. You're so lucky, and you, you're so money, and you don't even know it. I'm not scared of this. Because I, I know that the spam's coming, and then I hit you with one of those. And then I just two-tap you. We clash a little. I'm, I'm, I'm mad. I'm now mad. I'm mad again. But that's it's honestly something you just got to say is your own fault. Okay, I'll take that. I'm back. You got a chicken in your pocket that whole time. You want one of these? Uh-oh. I really thought that would get you. My mistake, power priority. It's Chib! A little power priority. Okay, they baited me. Now I, now I know the bait. Do you know the bait? <laughs> oh, you do, you I don't want this shit. Whoa! What is happening? Get me out of here! I gotta go, dude. It's it's literally raining men. 
That was a sick kill, though. You got it, right? That was a pretty good one. That was a sick kill. Whew. Big chicken. Okay, good elbow drop, honestly. I shouldn't have initiated. Stop me if you've seen this one before. The contestants had better stay inside if they want to continue to compete. How did they know? That's like a, that's a non-install. No! Not this time! <laughs> okay, finally! That was a good one, right? That was a good kill. Super. Yes! I'm back! Hit this thing. That hit this thing? Oh, I think we're just going to outer space. They lived? <laughs> I'll eat a chicken in your face by accident. That's completely my bad. I really have nothing to say in my own defense. Shouldn't have had it in my hands to begin with. You were almost dead last time we talked. Okay. There's 10 people left. It's the final circle. I'm going up. I don't want any part of this shit. I don't want to be involved. Hello. I mean, you knew that was coming. Okay. They're spamming. Great opportunity. Splat. Oh! You're, you're spamming. Oh, you're KO'd. I thought you, I thought you tried to tackle me. Good move. Honestly, good move. Elbow drop coming. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. You guys going in on it? Ooh, go in on this. And I'm out. And I'm in. They're just jumping. There's some fear. I should have gotten it. Should have gotten it. Should have gotten it. I honestly, great move. I just don't feel comfortable being here. I'm just gonna eat a chicken real quick. You're eating a chicken too? Please. Bombastic? No bombast? Let me go. Let me go. Don't. No! body made it, but my soul didn't. Okay, 15th. It's still a good game. Three eliminations. 20 to 11. That's so good. The throw was awesome. First DQ death? No, I've had a bunch. Usually it's because I uh, wait way too long. I go like way too deep trying to kill somebody. Uh, and then I kill them and then I get killed. Ooh, we're launching so fast. Three, two, I'm just hanging one. out. Okay, big miss. I'm back. I'm back. Disco stew. Sent up into the air. Metal trash can for vicious stuns. Wake up attack. No, oh, one of those. You don't get splattered. I need you to do a one-two there. Okay, wake up attack. Or oh, power priority. Needed to do a one two there, that's my bad. Up in the air. Alright, now we got bombastic, so we can actually attack. Now can we get back to what we were doing, which was me looting this book? That's a worse version of what we already have. Look at that gorgeous sight. More loot incoming. I shouldn't get involved. 
<laughs> Famous last words. I shouldn't get involved. Oh, man. He's even doing the wave. Look at that. He even did a taunt. I can't be mad. I'm the person who said uh, I shouldn't get involved, and then I got involved. Any human beings? There's always fights at the parking garage. Horse mask. I gotta tell, am I scared going into this fight because they have a horse mask? Hello, Walter White. I hear you up there. Holy cow. Okay. You know what? He knows. He knows. He knows. Here it comes. Run. Just kidding. This dude, he, he just knows. He knows that the, the jump, the dodge are OP. So why wouldn't you use them? Why wouldn't you use them? Okay. Get some super at least. Does he know? I've got weapons. Hello. Honestly, like an awesome read. Horrible play on my part. One of these days. Don't. I'm not dying to a DQ while I'm in super, okay? If you want to do full damage to me, whatever. The third one's landed. I don't want to fight this guy. Or do I? He's alive? No, no, no! After all we've done! Power priority. I should not be engaging in this. And yet here I am. Fuck. <laughs> Go ahead. He did take my javelin tackle. I'm not thrilled about that, but I am alive. Maybe he dropped it? That's dolphin dive. I'm not I don't have the sauce for dolphin dive yet. Whew, that, that one got the blood pumping. Like not all kills in this game are on the same level. That one's a high level kill. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> you know what? I think I've come around okay, we're nineteenth. I think I've come around to the idea that they actually should nerf the super. <laughs> Not because it's overpowered. And that's, I think that's where I struggle to tease it apart. Not because it's overpowered. Oh, we came 21st. I thought, oh, I'm sorry to the gamers. Got me on the misclick. But I think they should nerf the super. Not because it's overpowered, but actually just because it's annoying. Like, it's very unsatisfying to be just one tap kill. I think it takes the... It plays to the game's weaknesses instead of its strength. That's my only thing on it. It, it makes it a little bit less fun, in my opinion. Watch this. Ooh, get splatted. Get caught out of the air. Try out dolphin dive. Actually a good idea. Can I just go, I'd like to go to the magazine hole real quick. I'd like to go to the magazine hole. I'd like to look at the dolphin dive, please, if you don't mind. 
It's alright, it's a great Azuna drop. It's not even what I'm interested in. Okay, watch this shit. Can't- I thought you could vicious the Cosmo shot out of the air. I think it's makeable, man. I saw it on the subreddit. How could it be wrong? How could that be wrong? Launchman. You got to do it before the second hit. Okay. Before the second hit. I'll land Fountain. You, you want to get involved in some high octane gameplay early? Let's do it. It's one of the rare constructive posts on the Rumbleverse subreddit. The rest of the posts are literally every single one of them just says nerf super. What is going on with the audio here, man? I'm feeling like my damn ears are broken. Is this they, they foldied this into the game by doing a bunch of like crumpling sun chips bags into the microphone? You got one guide. Liter just go to the subreddit, sort by top post weekly, and tell me if you see something about Cosmo shot. I bet you do. That's my bad. I shouldn't initiate with the drop kick. I didn't even mean to. I, I actually meant to combo it uh, into an unblockable, into my vicious. Okay, I'm being, I'm basically being played by someone who's better than me. We take those. We didn't land it. That's okay. Little power priority. Fair enough. Can you resist the elbow drop? Some people can, some people can't. Oh, you're dead! <laughs> Saved. Okay, decent fighting. Super mode exists. You did it before, it was after a wall splat. I'm, t I'm telling you, I know what I saw. I saw a post. It was a video post on the Rumbleverse subreddit. It demonstrated someone landing a vicious right after a combo shot. They said it's fairly reliable. I just wanted to mess around with them here. Do it again. Whatever. <laughs> no! Nobody told me there was a javelin tackle invo involved in this fight. Run. Don't run. I saw you moving back there. Huge. Really thought I landed one on you. They got a super! They landed a super. I'm popping my super. You could tell he was gloating. What's happening? Okay, I'm simply better. Okay, maybe they don't need the nerf super. Maybe super's the best thing they've ever added. He actually rage quit in the middle of the attack. That's so good. I thought for sure he was going to wake up. I just got the vibe. We both realized you can two tap and be fine. Yeah, tap this. You coming up the ramp, Kate Bush? That's tough luck. That's my kill. You know it. You know it. I don't want any part of that, okay? I was just doing my thing. Oh no. Teaming stream snipers. Maybe they're not streams. They might just be some dudes. 
but they're definitely teaming. Or, uh, you know what, maybe they're just following the first rule of Rocket League. That was the guy I said I don't want to fight. I, I thought I sent him off the map. Imagine if it worked, though. That works. Don't. Just let me drink some juice. Just want to drink some juice. Hello. Eight gamers. I'm alive! I don't know what to do about these guys, honestly. You know, when you do this, it builds up your super meter. If you taunt in someone's direction, it builds super. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, fuck. Well, I'm pretty sure I'm about to get shit on. What if I Cosmo shot all three of them into the ocean at the same time? Oh! I, maybe they'll. I think these guys seem cooler. I see the chickens. I just like. I don't want to invoke their wrath. <laughs> okay, maybe I do. <laughs> What a strange game. That seems bad for me. And to try something a little different. Go hang out with the cool guys. I mean, I feel like... Oh! What the fuck, dude? Get Cosmo! That's not my Cosmo! This is my Cosmo! Oh my god, what is the range of this super dude? What is the range? Did you see that shit? I thought I spaced him. Alright, well that, I mean that last game, that was a little crazy. Came sixth. It's fine. Choose outcome. Ten to six. Ten to two. I can't resist, like, seeing a group of people fighting in this game and just being like, yeah, this is my time to jump in there with, like, a drop kick. And don't forget, contestants, you can stop off the vending machine on the bar for some complimentary tricks. He, he air dodged, initiated. Bro, just go back to Guilty Gear, okay? Like, this game... Save save some wins for the Fortnite gamers, okay? Shouldn't you be playing Dragon Ball Fighter Z for like a prize pool of ninety dollars in front of fifty thousand viewers at a major fighting game tournament right now? Like, shouldn't you be spending ninety percent of your gaming time in the training mode and ten percent of your gaming time playing against other people? Like, what are you doing? Sag, but <laughs> Sag, but plus two. Okay. Four. That's what they say in baseball, right? By the way, my baby doesn't know how blessed she is. I got sick of watching Peppa Pig this weekend, so I said, you know what? I'm just going to watch some TV. Let's find something that's family friendly. There was a baseball game on. It was Braves versus, I don't even remember. Braves versus Cardinals, I think. First pitch, home run. I changed the channel because I said it doesn't get any better than that. She's literally, she's, she's seen the peak of baseball. It's time to, like, sell high. That's, that's fine. I'm, I'm always down with a 1v1. Then you grab one of these. You wake up. You're scared because I have a baseball bat? Again, you initiated on me, just for the record. Go up, hit a tree, get super choke slam immediately on wake up. Okay, good, okay. You know what? You rebuked me. You grabbing it? 
Get super choke slam. Get super choke slam. And then, while you're stunned, get super choke slam. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Killing someone with spam in this game feels great because it's just it's so disrespectful. Imagine coming home from school to play games and an old bald man starts bullying you. Imagine like having all of your needs paid for by the state and all of your meals cooked by uh, the person in the world who loves you the most. Imagine having like no bills and then complaining you lost in a video game. Let adults have this one, okay? Dairy Queen? I wish, man. You know what? I've recently celebrated my 13th year chicken strip basket free. It's a milestone for me. Do I miss it? Every day. Every day I think about how good that gravy would taste. How Dairy Queen somehow makes the crunchiest um, chicken strips of all time. I really, I, I genuinely don't understand it. Why don't, can they like license their tech to other chicken strip uh, manufacturers? Because they make the best chicken strips. Punchline. Not a huge fan, but it's something. What happened 13 years ago? I ate one and then I looked up like the calorie count in it and a chicken strip basket has like 1400 calories. It's actually like, it's egregious even by fast food standards. Chipotle burrito has a thousand. Yeah, but like part of that is like vegetables. Like, I mean, if you look in a chicken strip basket, you're not like, oh, some of these are good calories. I guess you're like the chicken breast is like kind of okay, but. How could a basket of fried food be 1,400 calories? I know, but it's like, it's the kind of shit that makes like McDonald's look good for you. Someone just got supered over there. And the, I will say the other thing about DQ, I like a super cyclone, honestly. The other thing about DQ that I feel like is worth noting is that the fries aren't good enough to justify that calorie count. If the fries were better, it wouldn't hurt so much. Because the strip is like, the strips are great. But the, the DQ fries are not worth the calories you pay. But again, I haven't eaten there in like 12 years. <laughs> Wasn't it 13 a second ago? I don't know. Part of the, whoa! I got splatted too. This is a bad start. Um, this person has some idea of what they're doing, I think. I'm leaving. Ryan, dear, why are you being so difficult right now? Scariest message in chat. Why are you being so difficult, brother? What are you doing? Oh, no. Hold on. This odd is scaring me. Why are you being so difficult? Can you please promise you'll run away next time? I should sleep, but it's 3 a.m. Why are you being so difficult? He's so old. Did you just casually lose? Audit this, you bald fuck. Holy cow. Sane is chatter. Go to sleep. It's 3 a.m.? Now he's tripping balls. This is Let's see, he's got some private reserve psilocybin or something. There's so many, uh, there's so many old comments lately. He's off the damn Benadryl. I almost, I'm not gonna do it, but I almost want to give you an eight-hour ban just so you'll like fall asleep. And I also want to say, you better not tell anybody you're tired tomorrow, okay? If you're up late shit posting in Twitch chat, basically just like cyberbullying a stranger whose content you actually enjoy, you don't get to say, I'm tired tomorrow. You did it to yourself. That's a self-inflicted injury. Plus two, but I'm also tired. Well, I don't know why you're tired. You might have a good reason. Like a baby, for example. Twitter is actually so ass, though. I really, I don't understand. It's like a virus for the human brain. Because it, it provides nothing except anger. And then you realize, like, that's the most fucked, fucked up thing of all. <laughs> is that you realize that the human brain craves anger. That's the scary thing, right? Because you're like, oh, um, I use to I wake up, look at my phone immediately, see something that's like, oh, we're all going to die because there's a cartoon villain making the decisions. Sc Doom scroll until I feel anger. 
start my day angry, be angry for like the whole day, and you're like, oh, I'm finally, I got a little break from work. What am I going to do? Let me just check Twitter really quick. Oh, it's true. Like, one of the most underrated features of Twitter is muting. I don't mute that many people. This is going to hurt. If I died there, that was going to, it was going to bring me great pain. I don't mute a ton of people, but there's definitely people that like I follow and I'm like, oh, I haven't seen them tweet for a while. I hope they're alive. And then I check Twitter and I realized I muted them, but they were also tweet. Like as soon as I see it, I'm like, oh, that's the reason I muted you in the first place. I hit you. Holy shit. Holy shit. And I'll mute people like that I don't even know as well. Like sometimes you'll just see like a dumb tweet get retweeted into your timeline. And then I'm like, I'm going to immunize my feed to you. I'm just going to mute you right now just in case later I would have to see another one of your tweets. I mean, I'm not, I, you can use Twitter however you want to use Twitter. I'm not advocating if you have a problem with the way the world is right now, just sticking like your head in the sand. But there's some people like I follow on Twitter that are just angry about like a new thing every day. And then one day you're like, you just look at it like a year later and you're like, were you really angry? Wait, if you had to do like a ranked 365 day list of the, of the most angriest days of the year, was March 12th really that big? Could you have just tweeted a picture of a, of a sick lunch on March 12th in, in, instead of whatever you tweeted about that day instead, like congressmen high-fiving or something? I get it, it's bad, but at the same time, like every day... Then I'm sorry, you got to get muted. You're getting replaced with um, bad Marvel clickbait. That's because it, it, it imp improves my quality of day. Like I used to think it was bad when people like liked and retweeted pornography on their main. And then I was like, you know what? Maybe that's like the, they're the people that are using Twitter that are actually like enjoying it. <laughs> Instead of just being like, you know, uh, what did those bozos in Washington get up to today? I do want to say, though, they are bozos, <laughs> regardless of, your, of which side of the aisle you find yourself on. I wanted to be clear. I'm still giving them the bozo label, okay? Even the ones that are doing their best, guess what? You're a bozo. You got elected to be a bozo. 